Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what is in this box. It was sent to me by Jason. Thank you very much, Jason. Uh, we're going to find out what it is together. If it's something I can link, I will link it right down below. It does help my channel when you use my links, but that's entirely up to you. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay, let's find out what we've got in here. It's actually, you know what? It's, it's getting uh, close to time to sharpen this thing. It really has held a good edge for a while, and that's mainly, I think it's because it's chisel, well, it's, it's definitely because it's chisel ground. Um, but uh, <laughs> that thing's been through a lot of boxes. Okay, anyways, we have, uh, we got a pouch here, and we have a note. That's my favorite thing outside of the knife. Hello, Metal Complex. Thank you for taking the time to look at my, oh, oh, boy. Is this, uh, hold on. Is this the one? Oh, I hope it is. I have really enjoyed this knife so far, especially the action, considering it is on phosphor bronze washers. Feel free to carry it some if you like and perform like cutting tasks. Sure, no problem. Instagram. Um, oh, he says my Instagram is pretty boring. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. Uh, big fan of your channel for years and look forward to your thoughts. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Okay. I think this, well... What we should do, if you're not familiar with Les George, good stuff from the USA. Oh, it is. Oh, oh. It's the new button lock. Is it this side? Yeah. What is this big old crazy thing over here? Is it's the it's so that there's room for the button to uh okay. What? This is on phosphor bronze. Oh, oh, Les George. Oh, Les George. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> no way. No way. No way. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> okay. This, this is a totally different feeling. Uh, I mean, you got the, you got the button locks, right? You got the, the most famous ones, like the Malibu, right? You got your Pyrite, you got your Chevalier, right? And you got all that, uh, the Saxe, right? All the popular ones, the, the, the Kaiser original, uh, Cormorant, blah, blah, blah. Those are some variations of different feeling button locks. Then you have your, uh, button operated liner locks like in the brown FSD and the uh, the smock right this is uh this is a button lock it is a plunge lock let me let me give you guys a little look rooski here sorry about that sorry about the words that came out of my mouth so you see what's happening here this big thing hanging out here some people aren't gonna like that they're gonna be like, oh, then it 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 changes the width of the scale and it touches my that touches my hand when I, I'm just kidding. It, I mean, I, I get it. That's a valid complaint. I just like to make voices. Um, but you can see there what it's doing is making room for the plunge lock, and that cylinder is sliding into place behind the tang like a button lock normally does. The difference here is that this um, is running on phosphor bronze and not washers. I'm sorry, running on phosphor bronze washers and not bearings, which is different um, than most of the button locks that we uh, are familiar with it. They usually run on bearings. I cannot believe the action on this. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe it. Here's the other thing. Seriously, that is solid. So the the coolest thing about this. I, I mean, if you guys have been watching my channel since the very beginning. Hold on. I know I don't have the best audio. So it, I'm, if you're wearing headphones, my my voice is all over the place. One of my favorite knives in existence is. <laughs> darn it is the Les George VECP. This is my frame lock that runs on phosphor, phosphor bronze. And I love this knife. I love the ergonomics of it. I love the simplicity of it, right? The only thing that's a bummer, um, well, the pocket clip, I, I hate that it, that the lanyard hole is prioritized above the clip. The clip is just kind of slapped on top, but it's, it's a good clip, right? 
The only thing that kind of sucks is the same thing that sucks about all frame locks, and that's that the lock is exposed, right? So when you squeeze it, you are pushing that lock uh, and the, the the lock face into the uh, you know slanted tang of the blade. And some people say, well, that's a benefit because you're holding the lock in place, all right? But also, the harder you squeeze, the 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 more you're reducing the overall life of the lock bar. Uh, part of the reason that they uh, started putting lock bar inserts into titanium lock faces is number one, for easy maintenance in case the geometry is not the best. Uh, and number two, if the lock face wears out, they can simply pop the chip out, right? Which is something that they found to be the case with some frame locks, many frame locks, right? Hey, is your lock face wearing out because you're squeezing it to death? Well, then we just pop it out, right? Now, admittedly, this takes a long time, and it's only under the most extreme circumstances that a lock face will wear out. It does bother me, though, and the harder you squeeze it, the more, you know, more likely you are to create extreme lock stick, right, where you actually have to use... I, I know I've had to do this before with hinderer knives um, and many other frame locks that I've used when I'm putting, a, you know, a lot of pressure into it. I've actually had to use a flathead screwdriver and, you know, turn it in here to get the lock to release. I'm not saying that this is the case with every single frame lock. What I love about this is that we have both sides solid titanium. Uh, I also like the convenience of a button lock. I mean, the detent, I, I can't believe, I mean, this thing is tuned better than mine. This is the nicest feeling button lock, like true plunge lock. Hold on, I'm trying to get it left-handed so I can prove my point. Yeah, this is the nicest feeling button lock that I've ever felt. I can't believe how solid it is. It's awesome. And also, even down here, oh, it just, it feels good. And it's it's quite, yeah, it's, I mean, it's heavy enough. I'm keep my fingers off of it. I can't shake it out. This is great. This is, I want this. Oh, is it exactly the same size? It's, no, it's, it can't be longer. Is it bigger? No. Uh, it's, I'm being thrown off here. Let's measure. The camera's at an angle, and it's throwing me off, too. Mine is eight and a... Yeah, mine is almost eight and a quarter. Not quite. This one... Oh, it is. It's bigger. Yeah, we're coming in... 8.35, is it, maybe 8.4, it's almost eight and a half inches, so this is bigger, yeah it is, look at that, blade's bigger, well, I want this, everything else looks to be about the same, hmm, yes. thumb stud position is different, look at that, Dropped a little bit. Thumb stud texturing, a little bit different. Pivots look to be the same. This carve out, the location of the carve out behind, you can see they just, they literally just moved it forward. It looks like the scales are about the same, but they, they are bigger. They've also, the positioning of the um, scale screws are, are they, oh, are they smaller? Standoffs are different. They're a little smaller. But hold on. Did they just move from T10 to T8? I'm pretty sure the VCP has, like mine has a T10 for the body screws. Hold on. Yeah, so these are T10. So the new one is, it has to be T8. There's no way he'd go T6 on the body. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna test it out here. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. I love my T10 body screws. As long as you didn't go T6, I'm okay with that. So, uh, we still, for some reason, he's still like, no, I want that lanyard hole above the pocket clip. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's not like he's like, oh, I wonder what Metal Complex thinks. I better change it so he likes it. No, I know. I'm, I'm not saying he has to change it. All right, that's a preference. But um, I really, really like this. I... It's weird that this sticks out a little bit, but I can't say that I don't, I can't say I'm mad about it, right? I mean, however you hold it, because this isn't a knife that you choke up really behind the blade. So you're st where I'm squeezing it, I'm, I'm not touching that button, which means it's not going to disengage. Is this still CTS XH? No, oh, 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 
Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it's in Magna Cut. Holy moly, man! Ooh, wow, wow, boy, I'm in love with this. This is cool, man. Oh boy, that is really, really cool. I gotta have one. Oh great, and they're gonna be. I'm sure they're they're gonna be impossible to get a hold of anyway. Even before I said something. Oh, this is cool. I love mine, and this is so. This guy's a user, right? Don't even look used. Uh, this guy's a user. It's just clean because I clean it off, right? Same thing with the other knives. I don't uh, keep them dirty just so I can show people that they're dirty. I would rather that they stay clean so that they last, right? Then again, the stuff that I cut is pretty basic. Cardboard, rope, right? I don't cut mud. I don't go outside and go, it's time to go to work and start stabbing my yard just to get mud all over the blade. Um, I just cut what I normally cut day to day, which is mostly cardboard paper, stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I love using this. It's great. This is incredible. This is, that is so nice on phosphor bronze. Wow. Huge fan, gigantic fan. Really cool to see, uh, the VECP get an upgrade. Really nice stuff. Uh, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. Uh, you will get a full comprehensive review a few weeks down the road. I'm going to honor this person's request not to do any extensive cutting, tape, etc. as what he had requested. And that's fine. The testing that generally goes into knives uh, on this channel is very, very minimal. Right? I like to be transparent about that. Uh, I just carry them around and use them like I normally would, right? It's pretty light. I'm mostly going to comment on the design, functionality, execution of materials, and, uh, you know, how it stacks up against other knives that are in the same general caliber. Um, so, yeah, if you uh, want to check that out, I'll have that ready here in a few weeks. Um, I think that's going to be it today. Very <laughs> exciting. That's not what I thought was in the box. It was really, that was a nice surprise. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.